So just scrying the aether of Lin and just relaxing a little bit into this. And the governors and my holy guardian angel are forming about me um, another regular geometric figure. Looks to be a five cell. And they're asking me to join in and make it a six cell. Six cell. And I'm just keeping my heart in the very center of this. And they're saying, okay, now join your heart. So we're in the five cell again. And I'm just seeing things sort of rotating and rotating and rotating. And I'm seeing emanating from this uh, five cell or six cell, just this circle. It's sort of like um, if you see in the movies, a shockwave after whatever. And it's just flowing out. It's just going out in all directions. But as it's rotating, then I think, well, what if the six cell were still? And I realize, okay, so really what this could be showing is this simple geometric figure. If it were still, then everything else around it would be rotating. So I'm seeing this happening. I'm seeing all the heavens sort of wrap up and forming a tube about me and then forming its own circle about me. And I'm not sure what it means, but I have the sense, so this tube in the circle, it's, it's a smaller torus, but I'm seeing this as a means to move. I'm reminded of um, Star Wars Ahsoka, where this they use this hyperdrive ring, hyperspace ring. And, but it's got this sense, because the entire universe is wrapped up to make this, then really it's a matter of um, where the heart wishes to go. And the entire universe, from the perspective of the heart, you know, if it's coming at you, but the heart doesn't realize how it's oriented the entire universe about it. So this I'm being told is sort of this next phase where before it's like, okay, I, I cracked up into this world of Adam Cadmon, but now it's, um, now I'm seeing that, that a purpose of doing this given that we have a heart that exists within the universe is to be able to find the appropriate direction for the heart to follow because the heart is is pulled in a lot of different directions and so the only place that it can ultimately go is sort of this where it wants to go combined with where the universe allows it to go and so there's the the wrapping up of all the entire stars into like this cylinder is like a representation of the um, bias. But in but doing this, it sort of is like unskewing it, as it were. It's still skewed, but from this frame of reference, it's not. It's actually just going in a straight direction. And and again, I'm just uh, confronting a personal issue and just keeping my heart very soft and accepting and welcoming. And it's like I'm feeling a lot of myself melt. So it's sort of melting, trying to melt into this heart. And so I allow this and what I'm seeing all about me is even more stars. And I'm getting the sense of the, the hearts of others and how, you know, each of us, you know, to quote the book of the law, each, every man and every woman is a star. Every person is a star, you probably say nowadays. And there's this, just this, this yearning, this longing. And again, this is sort of 
again, mentioning the skew that we all have, we're all sort of tied in with each other as a single consciousness and at a fundamental level. And so our, yet our hearts are still pulling or being pulled in a lot of directions. So I'm remaining still here. Just very still. Just trying to concentrate again on not allowing a lot of dispersal energy to, you know, have its way. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing this letter Y appear in front of me. And it's both like a branch, but in reverse, it's like a wishbone. And all I'm doing is, or a dousing rod perhaps, and I'm just allowing, I'm just allowing the energy right now. I don't necessarily see myself confronted with a major choice soon, but um, I think this is something else. But regardless, I'm seeing uh, why, and maybe it's just the general nature of um, of how we're pulled towards others. I suppose you could also say it's like, um, you know, a chemical formula, maybe. Maybe uh, one of the nitrogens that makes three bonds. So... So I'm just allowing this, and I am asking the governors, I'm asking the divine, I'm asking the holy guardian angel if there's anything else. And I have a sense that this Y symbol will become more important, but and I'm just trying to like emanate um, love, compassion, sort of return myself into this six cell, see if there's anything else in addition to perhaps an octahedral awareness. And I just sense myself just shining brighter and brighter as I do this. And there's just more work being done on my subtle body. And I'm seeing just everything pretty well integrated within me now, for now. <laughs> and, but it feels good. It's very pleasurable. Um, this last go round, as opposed to morning and at noon, it was a little harder. But I'm asking if there's anything else. And once again, I'm just being bid to just relax into this and allow. And I do. And I see this arc coming forward from my heart. It's sort of like coming out and reaching back, coming out and reaching back. So like there's this continuous loop and it's like a, con a condensation of a lot of feelings that I have. And, and it's beautiful and I'm told to not worry, to never worry. The worst is behind, the worst is behind. Just reiterating messages from earlier sessions today. But I'm not sensing anything else, so I think this is the end of the vision. <laughs>